think for those who want to uh, scribble, you had enough time to prepare. So you see here, okay, condensation polymerization, okay? Condensation polymerization, okay? Addition polymerization you have learned in your AS, okay? Addition polymerization involves carbon double bond, okay? Where the carbon double bond is going to be broken, okay? Then you are going to get uh, C single bond like this, H, 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 and then you have N, okay? This is uh, ethene, and this one we call it polyethene. Don't call it polyethene, yeah? Polyethene, even though there is no double bond over there, but it's still polyethene. So this is going to be addition polymerization, okay? But now, okay, in our A2, most of the, uh, the equations that we learn is based on condensation polymerization. Two examples are polyester, okay, and polyamide. So this... Uh, just reminds us about ester, okay? How do you get ester, okay? Ester can be formed, okay, from, okay, you learn in your AS carboxylic acid, okay? You react with, okay, you react with alcohol. That is going to be ester. But recently, okay, you also learn, okay, in A2, carboxylic acid and alcohol requires heat under reflux, okay, it requires concentrated acid, okay, but if you use acyl chloride, okay, and you react with alcohol, they are going to give you the same thing. They are going to give you ester, but it is only going to be at room temperature, okay. Therefore, you have two ways. How do you get ester, okay? But now we are talking about polyester, Okay, so when it comes to polyester, okay, similar, okay, why, how do you get polyester? Okay, so similar if you have carboxylic acid plus alcohol, if I have acyl chloride, okay, and then I add alcohol, if you want, okay, if you want polymer, okay, or polyester, Okay, you just need to make sure, okay, that they can continuously react. So how do you make sure that they continuously react? So the alcohol, make sure left and right contains OH and OH. They will continuously react. Okay, you cannot have only one part, OH. They will not continuously react. You are going to get ester only. Carboxylic acid, make sure the left, part contains carboxylic acid, make sure the right part contains carboxylic acid, okay? The same, make sure they have uh, acyl chloride groups here, make sure here they have acyl chlorides also, make sure here they have OH, make sure they ha here they have OH. So what they are called, okay? This one is called dicarboxylic acid, okay, dicarboxylic acid, and this is called diol, okay? This is di, okay, you can see here, this is going to be diol chloride, okay? Diol chloride, okay, diol chloride, and this is going to be a diol, okay? So let's actually write the equation, okay? Let's uh, look at the equation. So let's say I write a simple one, yeah? C double bond O, OH, Okay, let's say one carbon over there. Okay, I'll just straight away put like this. Okay, it's a di uh, ethane dioic acid. Okay, this is ethane dioic acid. Then let's say I have C, C, O, H over here, O, H over here. So the rest are hydrogen. So if I want to represent this, okay, do remember, okay, they are going to continue. Okay, they are going to continue to react. Maybe I'll just put another button. I think no need lah. Yeah, so just show two, then the rest I will remove. Okay, so you see here, okay, the OH from here and the H over here will be going out. Okay, you are going to get water. So that's why this is going to be esterification is also known as elimination reaction or they are also known as condensation reaction. Yeah, they are removing something. Yeah, and then you are going to get, okay, do remember if OH came out, 
okay, if there is other molecule, the OH will come out from here as well. The other molecules, then you have H coming out from here as well. So the polymer that you will have is going to be like this, C double bond O, C double bond O, and then you have O, and then you have C, H, H, C, H, H, O, like this, and this is one repeating unit, okay, one repeating unit. So this is the, what we call as polyester, okay, because they have ester bond, yeah, what, uh, where is the ester bond? Yeah, this is the ester bond, okay. So I'll remove this so that you can see clearly. The same thing, okay, is can be applied. Okay, I'll just uh, rather than wasting time, I'll just copy here. Okay, copy and paste. The only thing that is going to change over here is going to be this one is Cl and this one is Cl. Cl, Cl. The one that is going to come out is not water. Okay, is going to be HCl. Okay, and then what you are going to get, okay, is exactly the same. So which one, okay, is better, okay? Of course, okay, the one with acyl chloride is better. Why? Because it's going to be more reactive, okay? This is going to be faster and better, okay? So you are still going to get, okay, the same thing. Okay, but the only thing that is going to change over here, maybe uh, you are going to have water here, you are going to have HCl over there, yeah? And the rest are all the same. So you need to know about that, yeah? So that is going to be, I have discussed about the polyester formation, yeah? And then they, uh, uh, sometimes they have hydroxycarboxylic acid. Now, what is hydroxycarboxylic acid? Hydroxycarboxylic acid is similar to your amino acid, okay? What is hydroxycarboxylic acid? You have carboxylic acid, okay? And then you have OH, okay? But when you look at amino acid, they have NH2, okay? The molecule contains NH2 and carboxylic acid. So it's like similar to that, okay? So if you put carbon over there, okay, you have H and H, what will happen, yeah? What will happen, okay, if you have this? You do not need to have other molecules, okay? You don't need to have other molecules because this is enough already, okay, to do the entire reaction. So I'll select this, okay, and I will bring it over here. I'll draw for you. Now, if you have this and then you have another molecule of this, okay, you see what will happen. You do not need to have other molecules. It's the same molecule, okay? But you see, OH and carboxylic acid, they can react, okay? Uh, this is similar, okay? I will actually put it over here. Three things, okay? With, this is similar if you have, if you have CL over here. Okay, so I will show you both, okay? So I have three molecules over here, okay? And these uh, three are called monomers. So you want to form a polymer, okay? What will happen? The OH, always remember OH will come out from the carboxylic acid, okay? This is OH from, okay, uh, alcohol. Only H will come out, okay? So you are going to get water coming out. Here, OH will come out, okay? H will come out. So you have another water will come out. Be careful, here is OH will go out, okay? Here, only H will go out. So if I want to draw, okay, if I want to draw, it will be like this, and then CH2, C double bond O, join with O, CH2, C double bond O, join with O, CH2, C double bond O, like this, okay? And if you look over here, okay, you should be able, if they ask you, this is the, this is the uh, polymer, okay? This is the polymer and it can continue, 
Okay, but if they ask you, okay, using this structure, find out the monomer, uh, then you need to be very careful also because you should be able to identify the repeating pattern. Yeah, the repeating pattern you can see that okay, this is uh, how to identify. Generally, you look for okay this ester group. Okay, you look for the ester group or the amine group. Yeah. So once you uh, have this, uh, sorry, the ester group or the peptide group. Okay. So once you find out that, okay, it means that you can actually separate this over here, and then see it is repeating with what. Okay. I can see that from here until here it is repeating, and this is going to be another batch. Okay. So I can identify this is the repeating unit. Okay, repeating unit. And when I have that as repeating unit, of course, I need to put the H over here. Okay. And then I put the OH over here. You will get the same thing here. Okay. So I'm just teaching you how to identify from the uh, polymer itself. Yeah. But now, okay, let me erase this part. Okay. If you have okay, the reaction with acyl chloride, you will get the same reaction and you will get the same product, okay? But the only thing that is going to be different is here you are going to get water, here you are going to get ACL. That's the only difference, okay? Even though they mention in your syllabus, okay, that you need to know about, okay, hydroxycarboxylic acid only, I taught you extra, yeah? So it means this one done, okay? And this one, okay, between diamine and dicarboxylic acid, okay, done also, yeah, diamine and dicarboxylic acid or the diol chloride, okay, let's actually see, okay, here I discuss about acyl chloride and alcohol, so let's actually talk about diamine and dicarboxylic acid, okay, diamine and dicarboxylic acid, let me write it over here, diamine, Okay, you have C, okay, then you have NH2. Okay, let's say here, I have NH2, is a diamine. And then you are going to react with dicarboxylic acid. So let's actually put like this. Okay, and then they say diol chloride. So let's actually also put like this as well. Cl and then this one reacting with diamine also. So now, if I want to draw, okay, the the what will happen, yeah? So. Do remember the OH is the one that is going to be broken. So OH with the H. Okay. So OH with another yeah, uh, diamine. So this one will go here also. Okay. So when I draw, okay, I'll get water. Okay. When I draw, I will get nitrogen. Okay. And hydrogen, I put like this. And then CH2. And then N, H, this one C, but I put the double bond O like this, easier to see. Don't go and put the double bond like this because it's going to be difficult to identify the peptide group. Yeah? So please take note of that. Okay. So you put the double bond over here. Okay. And then you put C double bond O. Okay. And then like this, and like this. This is the uh, polymer, okay, which is going to be polyamide, okay, why am I, okay, because of the presence of this, and it's a polyamide, so the same thing, okay, if you draw, you will get the same thing over here, okay, so it's the same, 
Okay, so just please uh, take note of that. So if you want to identify the monomer, yeah, like similar to Esther, you identify the peptide bond first. Okay, you identify this Tetris uh, shape over here. Okay, you identify that first and you break that bond. You break that bond. And then you can replace with whatever you want. Okay, and you can identify the uh, monomer. Okay, quite easy. Yeah. So that is going to be explaining about the part over here. Okay, done. Then the reaction of amino carboxylic acid. Uh, this one no need to discuss anymore. Yeah, amino carboxylic acid is going to be your um, your uh, what we say uh, your amino acid. Okay, because yesterday okay we learned about the formation of dipeptide. So, uh, amino acid join with amino acid join with another amino acid, they will give you polypre uh, polypeptide. So, yes, okay, we have discussed that. Okay, the reaction between amino acids, different amino acids, yeah, you can also draw that. Okay, so all that. And then deduce the repeating unit of condensation polymer. Just now I told you, you identify the ester bond or you identify the amide bond, okay? You identify this particular bond, and then you identify C double bond, O, and H bond. Once you identify, the only thing left is to break them. And you break them. Then you can actually identify the monomer. Yeah, so this one is quite simple. Identify the monomer present in a given section of condensation polymer molecule. Yeah, so it's actually uh, if you have polymer, okay, like for example, you have this particular polymer, you should be able to identify, yeah, what is going to be the monomer. Uh, so the moment you see this, uh, you separate, okay, this one may be from carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid, uh, diol, okay, maybe diol over here, yeah. So you need to identify. Yeah, so that is going to be some skills that you need to develop. Now, predicting the type of polymerization, we have okay, two types of polymerization. Okay, I started with that. Addition polymerization, okay, and then we have condensation polymerization. So addition polymerization happens okay, when you have alkene. Okay. Condensation polymerization happens okay, when you want to do like uh, amide, polyamide, okay, and then you want to use uh, ester, like polyester. Yeah, so you have that. Yeah. So that is going to be both of that. Okay. So you need to identify that. Okay. And then once you see uh, a certain uh, product, yeah, you should be able to find out whether this is addition or whether this is going to be condensation. So it's quite easy. If you want to identify condensation, yeah, you just need to look for this bond, okay? Or you just need to look for this particular bond. I cannot make it simple anymore, yeah? You just need to make uh, look for this particular bond, yeah? Uh, then we have this um, biodegradable polymers. Yeah. So do remember, okay, polymers, okay, they are going to be used okay, in many things. Okay. So of course, after we use them, we throw them away. But okay, uh, bacteria, okay, the you know the nature itself, okay, under acidic condition or uh, basic condition, okay, the polymers may get biodegradable or may not get biodegradable depending on the bonds that exist within the uh, polymer. For example, okay, if I have e polyethene, okay, polyethene okay, is, is going to be C double bond C, so you have uh, like this. So if I form polyethene, okay, polyethene is C single bond C, so H, H like this, then they will continue. So this is polyethene. Now do remember polyethene do not have any double bond. Okay, All of the bonds are going to be saturated. If the bonds are saturated, do remember something like your alkane. Yeah? They are not going to be reactive. They will not undergo addition reaction. Yeah, So very limited reaction. So therefore, okay, uh, any addition 
polymers, okay, they are quite difficult to biodegrade. So if they say here difficult to biodegrade. Let it be by uh, bacteria, okay, let it be by uh, acid base, no, yeah. But some polymers okay, can be biodegraded by the action of light. Uh, this one you can check from your textbook. They mentioned that certain polymers, if they have this bond, C double bond O, with the action of UV light, okay, that bond can be broken. Okay, that bond can be broken. So they say that, okay, this one can be biodegraded by action of UV light. But there are some problems okay, when it comes to modern day disposal. If this is a polymer that is biodegradable, okay, by uh, sunlight, this is my uh, uh Friday, Saturday people throw away some more, okay, then they put on top, okay, then Monday people throw away some more, okay, they put on top, okay, then following day there will be people putting on top. In the end, okay, everything will going to be keep on. A uh, like this, okay. So, if they get collected, okay, the sunlight, okay, the sunlight won't be able to reach this particular polymer, okay, and try to biodegrade. So, do remember, okay, uh, photochemical biodegradable uh, polymers do exist, okay, but they don't get biodegraded properly okay, because of the way that we dispose our polymer. Yeah? They don't get enough sunlight. Unless you put the polymer, okay, okay, let it be bi biodegrade for one year okay, on this floor. You don't throw anything else on top. Yeah, then they are possible to biodegrade. Okay, but the action is not going to be feasible. It's not going to happen that likely. Yeah. So the one K okay, will keep on okay, accumulating. But the one that is most easier to biodegrade is the one that we learned just now. Yeah. So polyester and polyamide are biodegradable. Why? Because we learned about hydrolysis in the beginning of our lesson. Yeah. They can be hydrolyzed to become uh, to become acidic and alkaline under certain uh, condition. You can break them. Okay. Polyester and polyamide, you can break them. And if you can break them, okay, so uh, the, they can uh, break into smaller pieces and then they can biodegrade. So uh, polyester and polyamide, okay, or the condensation polymers, they are biodegradable. Yeah, so that's uh, something you need to take note. Okay, so with that, okay, okay, with that, we have completed okay, the polymerization. But of course, yeah, uh, I don't want to just simply leave it like that. Yeah, I want to also teach some something extra, yeah, uh, based on the textbook and so on, so that we can learn more. Okay, but in uh uh in